Hello, if you've already seen my video about confessions of being a prison officer in the UK, then you may be interested to know that I'm going to be writing a book about all the experiences I encountered whilst being a prison officer. I'm hoping to finish the book by the end of 2020 and get it published on Amazon so everybody can download it. You will also be able to buy it as well in print form because I hear that Amazon also allow a print facility. So you know, for a couple of quid, I'll probably uh, publish it that way as well. I'm pretty sure I should be able to fill quite a few pages just by talking about the characters, the situations, and just talking about some of the stories I heard whilst being a prison officer. Obviously working with 500 offenders in a prison, so many different types of people that I've met, so plenty of things to write about. Not only the offenders themselves, but also different prison officers. Some of the biggest characters that I met weren't just offenders, they're actually the prison officers themselves. So not only will I be writing about offenders, prisoners, I'll also be talking about different types of prison officers as well. Obviously keep the names secret and just change the names, times, dates, venues, all that sort of thing. But it's all been loosely based around the stories I um, picked up whilst being a prison officer in the UK. And just to give me some incentive to get this book done, I've set up a Facebook page. I think it's facebook.com slash Lee's Writing a Book. Pretty sure the description's on the screen now somewhere. And also the link will be in the description below. The video that I made about two years ago, which is on YouTube now, about confessions of a uh, prison officer, is one of my most popular videos to date. I think it is actually the most viewed video I've ever done on YouTube. And believe me, I've done quite a few. So uh, it's quite happy to see every day people are watching the video. I think most of the people who are watching the video are people who are interested in becoming a prison officer at the moment. Um, I think a lot of the search results that I get are from people looking for advice, um, just uh, advice on the role playing um, and, the, and the training that they have to go through to be a prison officer. So I thought, well, maybe I should write a book about it as well. Maybe people will actually not only you know, download the book, but maybe buy it as well. So if you really are interested in finding out a little bit more about um, being a prison officer um, and you want to read more, I'm hoping to get this book done and dusted by 2020. So please, please follow my Facebook page. I'll be keeping it up to date every time I'm writing, uh, giving more details about a release date. And basically just, like, just keeping people up to date with the whole process of writing a story about being a prison officer. I've already made a good start on it and it's so enjoyable being able to sort of look back, remember some of the stories and remember some of the funny situations. Um, it's one of those things where as, as I'm writing it, I'm actually laughing to myself and bringing back so many different types of memories. Um, just Not just funny memories, but the, I remember the smells, the, the sounds. So getting it down on paper has been a really rewarding uh, process. Um, it's probably one of the best things I've ever done. I mean, I enjoy doing videos, I enjoy video editing, but actually sitting down in peace and quiet and trying to recollect some of the events that happened whilst being a prison officer, um, it's a little bit like getting things off your chest, because believe me, yes, I was only a prison officer for two years, but them two years I've never left. I don't think they ever will. Um, it's, it's a type of job you're never going to forget that you've done. So yeah, really being able to write it down, it's been a little bit like therapy really, a bit like you know sitting down and getting it all off your chest and getting it all written down on paper. It's it's quite an interesting process. So if you're into that sort of thing and you, you want to read this book, um, like I said about 100 times, I'm trying to get it finished by end of 2020. So please, please, please join the Facebook page. The more likes I get, the more more people following my story about writing a story, um, and it's been like more of an incentive to actually get the thing done. The only thing I haven't quite managed to do yet is actually come up with a title. I've had quite a few ideas. Um, it's either going to be the worst prisoner of a It's either going to be the worst prisoner <laughs> I've had quite a few ideas. It's either going to be the worst prison officer ever. It's either going to be the world's worst prison officer or how not to be a prison officer, or something, well, basically something along the lines of, you know, just just a terrible prison officer. You know, I, I managed to stick it out for two years, but, you know, I, God knows how it lasted two years. I really did wing my way through it. But, uh, so yeah, if you could think of another title, then please put it down in the uh, comment section below and I'll be interested to uh, to hear your thoughts. I think I've done about 100 pages already just, just free writing, just sitting down and writing everything that comes into my head, all the stories, all the memories, and then eventually once I've got a draft together, 
I can then you know, stitch it together, whether it's going to be a story uh, in, a, in a novel form or whether it's just going to be a collection of short stories. I'm not quite sure yet. I like the idea of writing a whole story you know, just by knitting together the different stories and then creating one big story. But also, I'm wondering whether it would be easier and quicker just to get all the stories together and, and just make a book in like a collection of stories from a prison officer. I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, I would rather go down the novel route but just for uh, just for sanity, I think, just making a collection of short stories may be a little bit easier, a lot less time consuming at least. So please follow the Facebook page. Um, again, the link is in the description and it's also on the screen here somewhere permanently, so you know, can't really avoid it. But it's, it's, I think it's going to be the best way for me to um, in, incentivize myself <laughs> to actually you know, give myself a kick up the arse and get it done. Like I said, the more likes, the more people who follow the page, the better. Also, if you've had any experience in using Amazon to publish a book, again, let me know in the comment section below. I've never done it before. So if you have any experience or any uh, comments or suggestions, help and advice about publishing books on Amazon, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll be very grateful. Right, that's about it for me. Um, I'm going to get right in. Cheerio.